So we just got a cool package in the mail. Uh, package came from a YouTube viewer in Prescott, Arizona. And uh, what this is, is a Heston commemorative belt buckle. Now, if you ever watched the National Finals Rodeo on TV, for years and years, there's always been commercials in the middle where they advertise these commemorative belt buckles that they do each year. And this viewer from Prescott, Arizona, his mother bought the commemorative collector's buckle every year for we don't know how many years yet and gave them to him. And he just boxed them up and sent them to these kids. So Riley's putting them in order to see how many years worth of consecutive buckles we've got here. Nineteen. Pretty dang cool. Some of them from the same year. This one here is from 1984 says second edition anniversary series limited collector's buckle designed and signed by fred fellows i'm gonna have to find out who that is probably a rodeo hero from before i knew what was going on i would have been three years old when that buckle was put out who is fred fellows maybe if i don't get a chance to do my homework you guys can tell me before i finally figure it out but yeah, this is really cool. So what's the earliest and latest years you've got there? So, so far, it's the 1994 is the earliest. 2008. And 2008 is the... 1984. 19, yeah, 1984. There's 2001. Right there. Let's see. 1994, 97, 96, 95, 93. So that's 94. We need to skip it down. So we just barely pulled in from junior high state finals. Riley, tell what buckle you got there. You got a few got, buckles, but what was the last one you got that we never showed? Uh, what was it? I got third in state, the average king roping. King roping. King roping. So he's headed the national finals junior high rodeo in Perry, Georgia. That's going to be a fun rodeo, huh? All the way to Perry, Georgia from Tickaboo, Nevada. So he's practically nearly as old as me and Mom were when we had him. No time for Cash Sharp, no time. Had a drink run this morning for the Cowboy from South Summit Club. Rich Stark was at front, will be up next. He'll be followed by Jet Still and Red Kelly. And the time is an 8.23, 8.23 for Harrison Hughes. So, Reggie Bug, where are you headed? We are headed to the wash. Remember Yogi, he said? Yeah, the water might be over me. And it's like about like this here. What's all this load we got here? Do those need to be tied on or are they going to ride right there? Oh, I think they might ride. Quite a load. We're going to gotta stop at the store and fill that cooler full of ice, huh? Yeah. Oh man, what is it? Gee whiz, that's a pretty good sized one. Mm -hmm. Just been carrying it around in your pocket? Yep. <laughs> Is it good luck? Yep. Are you trying to find a lady to give it to you? No. <laughs> I already know a lady. I already have two girlfriends. The one, she likes me. I don't like her. It's real. That's a problem when that happens, huh? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, oh man. She's a pretty one, though. It's your sombrero, huh? All right. Do we need to get one more strap over this hay? There was one somewhere. Where did I see it? Let's throw it over this hay. Oh, it's 
throw a strap over those two bales of hay just to be sure. Yeah, we don't need to dump them nowhere. Is that your spare tire? Just keeping it in case you need to put it back on. These little motorcycles and the back tires have been interesting. I guess we just never have started off with all the right stuff. We never tried a decent tire. We just keep trying to get by with interesting stuff. You guys found that one in the dump? Well, I know you guys have got a lot of miles out of no tires, so good job. This was a fun, this was the funny thing I had. So like, Riley and I are riding on one of the dog bikes, and the tire, the back tire fell off, and Riley was like, just keep driving, just keep driving. Mm, no wonder them tires look like that. <sighs> Oh, and guess who's coming on this Anchor Brand Ranch adventure? Lexi. I've got a child over here in a Def Leppard t-shirt. She's a little bit of an interesting helper, but she's what we got this week, so we'll see what we can get done. <laughs> Okay, let's roll. 50 gallons of gas. In Look, granddad drive this truck. I'll drive the horses. Mom can drive the camper. Okay, I'll drive the camper. You drive the horse. Granddad and mom all drive. Yep, does that work? Okay, we got granddad and mom out here. They're going to take one of these rigs. We're taking three rigs. One you can't see has seven horses. Lara's got the camper. And this is all the... Extra goodies. Well, the freezer's on there, though. What? The freezer's on there. That's my invention to use the old freezer laying down, put a bunch of blocks of ice in there. It's guaranteed to keep ice for over a week in hot weather. And the weatherman says we're going to have a medium hot week, not an extremely hot week. So that's kind of a break. It's going to stay under 100, like 95 of the high. It can get a lot hotter than that. So this is a good thing. All of y'all should probably go ahead of me because my truck's going to go slow for a little ways. And then I'll catch up to you at the store. Okay. So go on ahead. There's the load of horses. Trusting my new colt, he gave me a heck of a time this morning. He's gonna deserve to go on some long cattle drives, maybe learn to be a nice boy. Pickle got squished in the back, hardly any room left for him, huh, Pickle? You get squished on the back. And aggravating horses in the front. Got to try to take up too much daggum room. Scoot around there. Quit that. Daggum it. Look at this. Oh, there's got to be some dummies. Now we have them in the front of the trailer. Squishing the heck out of everybody else.
this is the reason why they make small bales for convenience because this is not that convenient but we don't have any small bales so we brought two big bales and a pitchfork so Laura stopped at the store, got the cooler all loaded up with drinks and ice and goodies. <laughs> Riley's gonna train his horse before he puts him away tonight. Well, I haven't been a very good uh, Anchor Brand Ranch cameraman, but we did make it out here to the wash and spent the night last night. Went out and got a few cows this morning, stopped in here at camp for some lunch, and during the uh, lunch break, I lost all my helpers. They've gone to the beach. So uh, there's a bunch of cowboys out on horses coming with some cattle from up on the desert. They're gonna need some help to pen those when they get them all down here. So I'm gonna try to round up some of the beach bums, get them back on their horses, and we'll go pen some cattle. Check out the beach. This is a bit of a man-made beach. Grandpa got on his John Deere Turbo 4x4. 410e backhoe and made an oasis in the desert over here are you giving up your horse to one of your brothers robbie went on a cattle drive this morning but he might be staying at the beach you want to be on tv anchor brain ranch okay. ryler who's riding rambo rants you gonna ride rambo all right go get Get your pants on and let's go. That is the beach. Pretty good beach grandpa made, huh? Yeah. He must not like his grandkids. He's trying to drown a bunch of them. That one's got a boat. Is it so fun? And you're not drowning? That's good, that's good. Are you the lifeguard? I guess so. Don't let anyone drown. All right. Anybody that's going on a horse, let's go. It's quite a nice beach, huh? Maybe I should give somebody my horse and stay on the beach. That's where we bury the bodies. Has anybody ever seen uh, Little House on the Prairie? Meet Pa from Little House on the Prairie. Show that good looking hair. There's a little fun trivia about Pa, but we won't bring that up on Anchor Brand Ranch. We don't discriminate. But if you know the fun fact, leave it in the comments below. <laughs> Is that why you're dressed up like him, Porter? You're a fan? I always liked Little House on the Prairie. Ma and Pa and was all the girls names I forgot all that but I used to watch that when I was a kid little house on the prairie all right haven't got my horse broke yet but I'm working on it haven't fallen off yet either my invention of a cooler works pretty good huh see him? saw somebody move he's about to go backwards break the halter tear down the ranch and then run away like you did while you're trying to get here gosh there's the lady in charge of this camp just make sure she doesn't sneak in that camper and have a nap while we're all out there riding around in the sun huh huh oh gosh <laughs> we're gonna have to take care of that <laughs> all right Bad news about this episode of Anchor Brand Ranch is this battery's about to be dead, so you get to see the load up, you don't get to see the cattle drive after the load up. Ridgie! Okay, thank you, Maya. Ah, Ridgie went on one cattle drive this morning, went to the beach, did some beach. Now he's back in a fresh set of cowboy clothes. Got him an orange crush, boots on the wrong feet, ready to ride again. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. Just do it like that. If you can ride all day like that, you don't have to switch them. I made him wear socks, but he just 
take him off right now. All right, get on your horse. We got to go. There's some real cowboys out there on the prairie driving those cows in the hot sun waiting for us to come and help them on in. Ah! You are the real cowboys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. Ah, you need to go to the bathroom. No. Okay, switch your boots around. Switch your boots around. Switch those boots and get on that spotted pony. <laughs> See if he don't buck you off. He Where's will buck. I don't have any socks. He already took them off. Then. I'll give you a dollar if you can get up there without nobody helping you. Ah, I'm done! Good thing your horse isn't wild. Uh, did you put yeah. him back on? He put him back on the wrong I know, he took him off. <laughs> he took him off and then he reached across and stepped in the same way. Here, take off. I was wondering. You don't want your socks on? Mm -hmm. That's good thing. Okay. Yeah. Get now get him right now. Grants, all those guys said they want some wave. drinks. So they want what? I packed a few in Ridgie's saddlebags. Ridge, just so you know, the drinks in your saddlebags are for the other cowboys that are thirsty. Oh, right. So don't be drinking them on the way. Mm -hmm. gotta... Okay, give me my soda, please. Riley's up there. He said he wants a cold soda. Cool. Well, he's not having mine. Mom, mom, please. Mom, mom, give me my soda. <laughs> what are they going to tighten this thing? Okay, I'm turning this dead camera off and leave it here with mom. So you'll just have to trust us that we're actually going to go pen some cows. You'll never get to see it and know for sure. But by the time you watch this video this far, we already got your money. It doesn't matter if we get the cows or not. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. And it, and the cord plugs this into it. Try it. No, Robbie came back with it. Yeah. All right. Grandma's got some kind of battery. We're gonna try something out. See if I don't lose it. Maybe you will get to see if we find any cows or not. Now I'm not going to have a good excuse to not video. Unless I say it's because my horse will buck me off if I'm fooling around with the camera. Would you do that, huh? You mean old Bronco. Ridgie, you ready to go yet? Been waiting on you for hours. Zip up that pack and it'll keep those drinks cold in there. Zip it up. Okay, no excuses for not filming now. I needed an excuse. Okay, I don't usually work this hard at it, but grandma gave me her charger in my pocket. I got the cord going down to my other pocket. I'm gonna stick the phone in my pants and if anything good happens, I'll show you. Uh, he got to go to the beach and drink a soda. He's ready to go. <laughs> yep, he's ready to go. <laughs> wouldn't reach him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ridgie spotted something up there. You think we better get off our horses and chase him, or should we stay on our horses and go get those cows? Which do you think we should do? I'm really wondering what you think. <laughs> Let's get off our horses and chase the lizard. <laughs> A mess. All right, uh, this is no joke. By the time we got our beach crew gathered up and saddled up, 
these guys are getting down here. This is the front end of those cows start, starting to get here. So we didn't do any good at all, but we got here in time to show you the cows coming in. There's this guy. We'll put this one on TV. Every time he's on TV, we make a lot of money. But then when all that when all them famous it makes my wife upset, so I don't maybe I better not put you on there no more. Hey Ridge, I think you might want to stay by me, buddy. I don't I think there might be more cows coming down out of here. There's Spencer, he's famous from past episodes of Anchor Brand Ranch YouTube. So what do you got? Is this part of the bunch that was coming down? There's still more back behind or what? Yeah, that's good. How far back behind are those guys? Uh, not very. Not very far. Okay. <sighs> These guys were all at the beach. It took a while to get them back on their horses. So we were going to come help you, but now we're just here to see you get them in the corral. Ridgey, you should come with me. Come on. Come on. So, apparently there was the expedited group. These guys brought them on ahead and put them away. There's some back here with some little calves that are coming a little slower. So We'll go check on them, give Riley that soda. You haven't drank all them sodas out of that pack, have you? Right. Riley ordered one. We got to save one for him. He got out of bed early and came all the way on. Okay, come on over here and get out of their way. Come on. Oh, shoot. Goodness. Goodness. I'm too old to be riding mean horses like this. can't cross here look at that barbed wire death trap no good can't go through there bad, bad barbed wire and go right up right like this right where I went right through the edge of the bush right through the edge of the bush Ridge made it. Okay, we're good. All right, I know I often do a terrible job of explaining what in the world's going on. So since we're just riding aimlessly through the desert for a minute, I'll talk at you and tell you what's happening. We're at a place called the Beaver Dam Wash. Kind of just in the desert north of Mesquite, Nevada, if you know where Mesquite is. You can go there and gamble and lose your money if you want. Anyway, we're up in here where these cattle spend the winter. And it was a good winter, especially toward the end of winter, a lot of moisture. So these cattle are all in good shape coming out of this desert. <clears throat> Big drainage called the wash. And it's actually running quite a bit of water still coming down out of the mountains. What we're going to do is get all these cattle gathered up. And first thing, we're going to sort through them. There's a handful of different owners, and they, everybody's going to send their cattle their own way and whatnot. So we've got to pair everything up. 
make sure all the proper calves go with the cow they're supposed to go with, get everybody's cattle sorted out to them. Then we're gonna work those calves like we do at home. We're gonna catch them, give them their vaccinations, castrations, all that stuff. And then put them on trucks that are gonna take them up to the lush green pastures of Pine Valley Mountain where they can have the shade of the pines, plenty of water, good green grass, and they'll spend the summer up there. This fall, we'll climb back up on that rocky old mountain, gather them up, truck them back down here and over and over again. So that's kind of the gist of the program. Still seeing a few cows sitting down here. I'm guessing pretty soon. I kind of see some dust up here. I bet that's where we run into the, the main back end of the herd where the thirsty cowboys are waiting on this cold soda that we're carrying. So, Drink that soda yet, have you? Desert looks pretty with all the different plants and flowers blooming and blossoming. That cheat grass has gone ahead and dried up and turned brown already, right here. It's kind of early season deal. Everything else is alive cactus flowers. All kinds of flowers. All right, hey, let's be kind of quiet and ride past these cattle so we don't scare them. Just let them keep moving. Yeah, these ones are traveling along kind of on their own nice and quiet. When we get to that back end of the herd, it's gonna be Little calves, slow calves and cows, everything will be bawling and bellering and making a fuss when we get to the back end of there. Give you a little ride through the desert here. Big old bully bully. There they are, starting to see some cowboys. Howdy! Oh, look at that. Check out the horns on that old girl. It's one of Rio's Texas Longhorns. That one's got some nice horns, don't she? Yeah. Dang, I like them horns. Woo! Like the man from Snowy River. Wanna be famous on Anchor Brand Ranch? Just make that horse buck and start spurring him. All right. Had some horses bucking this morning. I never had the camera pointed at them, so. Oh, shucks. I uh, knew this carrying wires was gonna be bad. That cat claw bush got me. That's gonna be a disaster. You wanna be famous on Anchor Brand Ranch? Lexi, that's the one that killed that big buck that one time. Remember her? There's the back end of the cattle. Bring you a frozen soda. We heard that's what you ordered. Everyone else ordered a sandwich and you ordered just a soda? Go, Good, that's all we brought you. Oh. Hoo -bah. Hip. Hip. Down the wash. There you go, cold grape Shasta. 
I just steal water from a plate. I didn't have any. You never brought no water? You got them saddlebags, but you have nothing in them. Because uh, when I was saddling, those guys were walking by, so I just jumped on. Huh. Huh. Yeah, see these little, little bitty guys, they're tired and dragging. Quite a bit, not quite as much as what's here, but maybe close, about half. Got long legs. Where to come from? Oh, the guy that lives in Nevada by you guys somewhere. Sam. Oh, Brackenberry. Oh, it's tall enough to step over the bushes and the boulders. about to give mine back before I even left to come here but now that I'm on him I'm starting to like him again I didn't like him so much when I was trying to saddle him and he whirled and kicked me and broke the halter and ran off around the yard <laughs> I was getting frustrated <laughs> T's theory was that's why he hates humans is because when he was little he got roped and burnt to death About like one and a half for us, and then a bunch for Fenton and Curtis and Dennis Iverson. <laughs> yeah, usually those guys go on their wheelers and bring a lot from Terry Bench, and they haven't done that yet, right? So there probably is still a lot that way, I guess. Unless they came all across earlier. Right? There was not much down the wash. Hey, Reggie, get out of the way and let this calf get back in the herd. Scoot out of the way. The little ones are tired. Okay, we're on day three. We got one semi load of cows sent out this morning. We did the calves and got another load right there in the corral ready to go. Now we're riding away. We sent uh, quite a herd of young cowboys ahead to a place called Cat Claw, famous place. And then uh, the rest of us that kind of had to finish up those calves are dragging along behind. So the crew I've got with me right here, this is the fashion crew. So you notice me, I've got the sunglasses, no cowboy hat, getting my ears sunburned off. I'll show you why. Ridgy, he's just Ridgy on his spotted horse. But here, I noticed Sissy was looking good yesterday in her cowgirl giddy up. And also I noticed I could not find my straw hat. And then I noticed we both 
have the same hat. So, anyway, sissy's looking good. And then there's Porter back there. Got that nice looking hairdo. The the paw from Little House on the Prairie hairdo. And we got Rio somewhere. We've already lost. Okay, Rio's having horse problems. Maybe we better wait for him. I see him on the ground, waving his arm. His horse is gonna go crazy if we keep going. All right, we'll show you Cat Claw when we get to Cat Claw. So this is the main beaver dam wash. You can see it running some water here. Now, <coughs> there's a tributary wash that comes down that canyon right there. And that's Cat Claw. That's where we're headed, it is up that canyon. Doesn't look like you can go, but you can wiggle all the way up and come out up on top of the hills up through there. And there's some pretty good cow places up there. So. Cowboy, what does it mean if Champ starts pawing that water? having a discussion about how this land formation was created. Now, check that out. Do, 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 do. And it looks like lots of layers of sand and gravel. So obviously it got washed away, right? Like this wash, all the dirt got washed down. But then, how did those layers get that? That must have been before that, right? layers got washed in here? Yeah, they all had to get built up before they got eroded away. So it took a long time to make that. What do you think happened, Rigi? How did all that get there? I think a bunch of lion came in. And like that, and then the rain maybe like made them up to up. You think rain might have done that, huh? Champ, what do you think? Champ's just, Champ's just worried about what if one of them big rocks falls off the top of there because some of them are barely hanging on. We sit here in this shade very long. One of them rocks could fall and hit us on the head. Maybe we better get riding. Maybe you better take a Maybe Rio and Porter should ride on up there and see if they're having a disaster and need help. Me and Sissy and Ridge will wait right here. Keep the front of that herd headed straight when they get here. <laughs> that way, we cover, basically, we cover both bases. If they Sitting need, in the shade and riding. <laughs> yeah, we have. We cover both bases. Our plan is to hold up the front end of these cattle so they don't stay strung out too far. 
because when we get down out of this wash, those cows are going to try to go the wrong way. So we got to be in front of them to turn them the right direction. How you doing on soda? You out of soda yet, or you still got plenty? Bridget Bug told his mama he's allergic to water, so pack him some soda, but she packed him some water so he can stay alive. Water keeps you alive. Soda won't keep you alive in the desert, just water. <laughs> what do you got in your snack packs there? Gatorade. I'm out though. Right, well, guess we're gonna yeah, die. I'm allowed of my trash. I like <laughs> Trusty stallion. Find you an Indian cave? Yep. Looks like they get bit by spiders. I, yeah, I don't know. I, Dad, doubt. Is that I don't think so. Definitely is dot and dot and mora and dot and mora and dot and dot and dot and mora and dot. Hey, you're gonna make this whole thing collapse on top of us. <laughs> We've got 10 billion years worth of gravel stacked up right here. <clears throat> All right, we've been patiently waiting and soaking up the shade of that mountain. The first few cows have just arrived. They're a little bit confused to see us standing in their pathway. Who oh, cattle. We're just gonna <clears throat> hold them up, kind of slow them up till the back end of these cattle can catch up. Who oh, cattle. I mean, just slow down and wait. Wait for all your friends to come. Once kind of the back end of these cattle is caught up, we'll right along in front of these keep them under control because when we get down to those cat claw bushes where this wash dumps into the main beaver dam wash they'll try to go wrong and scatter in those bushes and go the wrong direction so it's a good narrow spot we can hold them up here and not really worry about them scattering out the sides It's Riley's cow. You'll see a black and white painted cow with some big, heavy, thick horns. It used to be a roping heifer that we roped years ago. We actually picked it up. We picked up about five head of little fresh roping cattle in Houston, Texas, on our way home from a Florida trip. They've all gone the way of used roping steers, except for this one. She for some reason got to live out her life out on the ranch that's her the big black and white painted horned cow right that's the reason why it was important for us to stop these because they'd have been far enough ahead to get down there to the wash go their own way and get away What are you two doing down there? Get on your horse, cowboy! <coughs> okay, it's been almost 10 minutes and we're starting to hear a lot more cow bellering 
that means the back end of the herd's getting there. For some reason, all the ones at the back go slow and make a lot of noise. Those ones up the front, they just trail along nice and quiet. Just different personalities of cattle, but we can hear that back end making noise and coming now. And I see the first rider. There's a cowboy on a horse. Alright, we gave those cows a half a mile or so sneaking down through this canyon. We're kind of looking for a good narrow spot we can defend so we can hold them up again and get them bunched up one more time before it opens up into all those cat claw bushes down at the main beaver dam wash. Okay, let's spread out right across here. <clears throat> we'll hold these cows up here for a second and then Let's have Roxy and me and Ridge get on this left-hand side. Rio and Porter, you go to the right-hand side and we'll just guide them right down the middle of here when they come. So this is the point where we could have trouble and lose them, but we've got such a game plan that there's no way that's gonna happen. Getting down into that main wash, they go through a bunch of thick Cat Claw Bushes, hence the name of this place, Cat Claw. Sissy, hang on back here. Hang on back here and let's hold those cattle up. And then when we're ready to let them go, we'll just stay on the sides and send them right down the middle of there. No, that one not cutting its horns off. That's Riley's cow. Okay, we just gotta keep them right in the middle of this wash, not too far to the left. So just keep creeping forward so they can't creep over to the left. If we can send them right down the middle, they'll go right down into the wash and we can take them onto the corral. If they go too much left, they'll try to get away. Try to go up the wash instead of down the wash. Little O'Reilly in his sombrero. Her pants, Red and Rambo, playing with his lasso. So far, so good. Right where those cattle are going is where they're supposed to be going. So that looks good. Ridgey, you can come help push these now. <laughs> How's your ride, Mr. Rance? Got plenty of stuff left in your snack pack still. Just about used it all up. go down to the wash just to make sure. Take Ridgy Bug and help push back here on the back. Help push him, Ridgy. Okay, they successfully got them all down into the wash, so it's pretty much just following them on home now down to the corral. <laughs> there 
There's a handful of different owners who have cattle in these bunches that we're gathering. And each one of these little baby calves definitely needs to go on the same semi-truck with his mama or we'll be splitting up families and causing a disaster. So we've got to get this right. Sometimes it's easy to tell which calf goes to which cow and sometimes it takes a lot of watching and paying attention to get it figured out. Here we finally have a group of families together. Notice Riley had worked pretty hard right there to put that biggest calf with his big black and white horned cow. Ah! Uh -huh. 